Way back in 1899, aspirin was a trademarked brand. When the patent expired, other companies could create their own generic versions. These versions could follow the exact same manufacturing process, have the exact same chemical structure, and therefore have the exact same effect. Just like aspirin, all small molecule medicines are made from a simple chemical structure, which is easy to recreate. This can lead to a significant price drop. For example, a market-leading aspirin product can set you back £3, whereas a supermarket-owned version is only 30 pence. These generic forms are known as bioequivalent. Now we come to the biologic medicines. These are complex structures of large molecules used to treat a range of conditions. Rather than chemically manufactured, biologics are produced from living cells. These cells are genetically engineered to produce a specific protein. This is a complicated process, and as no two proteins are identical, the structure of each biologic drug can't be exactly replicated. The patents on many big blockbuster biologic medicines are due to expire soon. This has opened the market to companies rushing to create their own alternative versions. But as we have seen, no two biologics can be the same, even when following the exact same process. It's like planting two identical looking tomato seeds in the same sunny spot and watering at the same time, but you know the plants can never ever be identical. So these new versions, instead of being called generic, are called biosimilars. Biologic medicines are expensive to develop and license. All patented versions have been through a costly program of trials to demonstrate the product is effective and safe. Now the new biosimilars can cut down on development cost by using the same science as the reference drug, but trials need to be undertaken to confirm there are no clinically meaningful differences. So we can see the biosimilar boom is coming,